We have new content dropping, new DLC content that's just arrived, and Stadia committing to games up until 2023. Join myself, Fletcher, from PSX Cloud as we go over the Google Stadia news for this week. Remember, if you like cloud gaming content and Stadia coverage, then subscribe down below. First of all, we have two new games launching onto Stadia on the 15th of February, so clear your calendars as it's going to be a very busy week. We have a new game which was already rated to Stadia and it's now been confirmed and that is My Hero Wants Justice 2. This is a fantastic game for all you anime fans out there and is very highly rated within the community as the best fighting game that keeps true to the characters and story. Secondly, we have Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires which is the next entry in the popular series. This is one of the best hack and slash games and is a great grab for Google Stadia. As someone with a long history of playing this games, this is certainly not one to miss and if you want to see more coverage of Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires when it releases, stay tuned to the channel. In Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires, you can create your own officer and command your army to take control of all of China. You will battle factions ranging from Xu and Wei alongside memorable characters like Lu Bu and Zhao Yun. The game will feature massive siege events alongside battles that put you at 1 vs 1000 enemies. This is also launching on February the 15th and is available to pre-order right now. Next up we have a new free play weekend for a game that was newly released onto Stadia in December. You can play Jackpot Party Pack 7 for free on Thursday the 17th to Sunday the 20th of February completely free. You can play 5 new games with your friends and family including popular titles such as Quiplash 3 and the collaborative Chaotic The Devils in the Details. This game is currently on sale in the Stadia store so feel free to purchase it if you do like the game. For all you sports fans out there there are 2 updates in both FIFA 22 and Madden 22 which are live right now. First of all we know the Super Bowl is coming up very shortly so go and check out the new Ultimate Team content that has just dropped which celebrates the past, present and future of the great game. Then in FIFA 22 we have the launch of the Future Stars. This is new content update for Ultimate Team which includes new season rewards, cards and in-game items such as TIFOs and more. You can get players such as Jude Bellingham and Smithrow in packs right now. We also have some new DLC updates for your favourite games launching onto Stadia within the next couple of weeks. We have the long awaited DLC for Destiny 2 The Witch Queen which is coming on February the 22nd. This includes the largest ever content drop for Destiny 2 and continues the story on where it left off. Do note though that if you have yet to play any Forsaken content then this will be vaulted on the same day so make sure you play it as soon as possible. We then have the next chapter of the Far Cry 6 DLC. Step into the mind of Joseph Seed from Far Cry 5, playable on co-op and battle your inner demons. Explore a twisted version of Hope County, fight your former followers and confront your family members. This DLC is available right now. In the final bit of Stadia news today, this has to be the most underrated bit of news that has dropped. In a post from Google Stadia detailing the new incentives of Stadia partners, they start detailing the price and performance of games releasing or yet to be released on the service. From an extract on this document, the Stadia team state the following. Subject to program terms, newly signed games that launch onto Stadia through December 2023 can earn 85% transactional revenue share up to $3 million. That's right guys, you can at least expect games to be released up until the end of December 2023. This is certainly a small insight into the future of Stadia as a platform and puts the rumours to bed about the Business Insider article that came out last week. Not only that, but some developers that have launched games onto Google Stadia have pointed out their opinions and feedback of the service. A popular developer by the name of Outright Games had the following to say about the pro service. We have seen a fantastic amount of engagement with our games on Stadia already, with revenue that went well above our expectations. As we expand our portfolio, we will continue to bring more opportunities to play great kids games in the cloud. To me, that is a massive and great statement given by the team at Outright, and I cannot wait to see what new games they bring to Stadia very soon. So that wraps up the Stadia news for this week. Remember, if you like Stadia content and want to see more, subscribe down below and like the video. My name is Fletcher from PSX Cloud, and I'll see you guys in the next video.